So flash forward to when my dad's a kid in Dominican Republic, I'm half Dominican, half Puerto Rican. They don't have like Elmer's glue, right? So they're taking this and they're making glue from this. It has a really high, thank you, starchy content. Um, and that's really cool, it's a natural glue. Um, so then fast forward again, I start working on some masks, right? I'm interested in the Dominican carnival. And I go over there, I start working in a workshop similar to kind of this, and lo and behold, they're making glue from juca. And that glue is called almidon. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make almidon. And then we're gonna use um, a paper mache method, which is almost exactly what they do in the major public and Puerto Rico, other parts of the Caribbean, to make their carnival masks. And um, they're really sturdy, they're really strong. And this is something that you guys can use to, you know, make your own sculptures or it's just cool to know about it. There's a lot of little split and I can pop it off. I wouldn't use a knife like this. It's completely out of order. You can use like a little kitchen uh, uh, butter knife and it works fine. So I'm gonna score down there, right? And that's gonna release the skin. You see there's like a layer of bark. So that's gonna get released. Well, in this case, I'm gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna pop it up. And this is good too if you ever just wanna make some. Now you know how to peel it. You can you know, impress your family or friends. What did you learn that? So then I'm gonna flip over, use the back side of the spoon, which has a little curve. I'm using this thumb as kind of a guide. I'm just gonna drag it along. And that's releasing that bark layer from the meat, the yuca meat. So it's gonna look like that. Like cheese. Like cheese, yeah. exactly. But you wouldn't want to eat this. It's probably gonna make your throat scratchy. Of the juca into the water. And that's what we want to have in there. That's cool. And I'll show you the next method. We're gonna grab a, a lump, right? And then we're gonna squeeze it in. Because we want to get all the starch out. How's it going? Almost there. Anybody else want a shot? So you can dry this out. And that's basically the dehydrated starch. So if you wanted to, you can leave it in the sun and it'll create a powder. So instead of doing this all the time, you can just hydrate that starch. But wow. you need a lot and I don't like to use that method. I like to do this every time. I don't know, it's just my weird way. So you can start. I would maybe get a little less next time. Okay, okay. A little there. Mm -hmm. And that way it'll kind of just go down. Oh yeah, and then just like square out. Yeah. See, it's getting thicker. Oh my god, look at this. I'm gonna take it off the heat. And I'm just gonna stir. <laughs> Running under cold water in the container. Good, though. Nice. <laughs> I think that's going to take too long. Okay. okay. This, you really don't want to inhale too much directly. So when you're using it, you kind of want to keep it away from yourself. And honestly, I, I would say just use super glue. But um, this is what I use in my studio, in my practice. And um, it's nice and coated. It's kind of nice, right? But then it's like not good. You don't want to enjoy it too much. All right, where do you guys think I should put the, the horn? The mouth. The mouth? Okay, that's interesting. Can we get a consensus? Forehead? In the middle, right? Oh. Unicorn? 
All right, is that okay? Yeah. So they're gonna create a strong bond. So you need to have both sides and take a little more. And then we're gonna close that up because it's really strong. For now, you have to wait. Press down, all around, and it's staying because I let it set up. I let it uh, wait as it was supposed to. So now I'm gonna flatten it down really nicely. Really fun. The kids were very engaged, and I think they learned some valuable techniques this week. I think that they, or this weekend, and I think that they got an idea of how to make the glue and how to use the glue to cover forms. And once those forms are covered, how to put them together. So that was the goal, and I think they got it. Jada was a great teacher. It was really nice learning his method. Um, his pieces are amazing, yeah. and it was great. To learn this new method through mache. I've never really yeah. thought of that before. And even when you look at this pieces, you never think they're through mache. I learned how to do paper mache with starch. I've never done it before. I usually use like pre made powder and make mad water. But I learned how to do it naturally and it might be cheaper because you pay the same price and get more. And um, I also learned how to do it. I learned how to make casts so you can reuse the, the 